Hello everyone, we will continue the topic smart forms and in the previous video, we understood that how we are passing the data from the driver program to the smart form. But yes, we are not getting a output and in addition to that, we are not even getting what is wrong. Suppose we run the program, we are passing the data to the smart form. We are not getting the output, but we don't know why the output is not coming. Suppose if I am running this particular program in the smart form, I already have a breakpoint. If I will go to the smart form, if I will display the smart form, in the smart form, we already have a breakpoint, dynamic user dependent breakpoint. Suppose if I will go for order number one, I will go to print preview. Now you can see we are in the smart form. I will go for LT underscore header. We have the header data. LT underscore item. We have the item data. Everything is perfectly fine. We have this is the header data. This is our item data. But whenever I am simply executing, no output is coming. I am on the program itself and I am not even getting what the problem is. Now the question comes, how, how we can understand that what is the problem with this particular smart form? From the program, everything is going perfectly fine. But what is the problem? How I can resolve this particular problem? Remember, in we have so many cases in which you are not getting the output, do one thing. Rather than running through the program, run the smart form independently. Always make a practice. Suppose you are running the program and through the program, you are calling the smart form. You are not getting the output, but you are unable to recognize what the problem is then run the smart form independently. It will show you where the problem is. And whenever I will run the smart form independently, I will come to know, yes, what is the problem with this particular smart form? Suppose if I will go for the smart form, this is my smart form. I'm running the smart form. This smart form generated one function module. I will run this function module. Suppose this is our header and item data. Previously, you have order number. Now we have header and item data. Suppose I will put header and item data so that I can recognize what the problem is. If I will go to header data, suppose I'm going for order number one. Suppose I will put some order date. Suppose payment mode C, total amount 100, currency INR suppose. I will go to back button. I just provided the header data. Now I will go for item data. Suppose I will put item order number one item number 20, suppose item cost 100. Suppose if I will go for one more line item, I can go for one more line item. Suppose I will go for order number one, item 20, order cost 100. I'm just putting that data so that previously through the program, you are passing that data but we are unable to recognize what the problem is. So I'm running the smart form independently and we will recognize what the problem is. 
I will go to back button. Now I will simply, simply run this smartphone. Whenever I run the smartphone and put the device, there is a breakpoint. I will simply execute. Now you can see I got the error. So this is the problem in the smartphone. Always make a practice. And this is extremely important question from the interview perspective also. Many times we ask, yes, if you are not getting the error, you are calling a smartphone through the driver program and you are unable to recognize the error. What is your approach at that point of time? So answer is we will run the smartphone independently. We will put the data and we will check what the problem is. And this problem which we are getting is extremely, extremely important. Extremely important question from the interview perspective also. What it is saying, reference field LS data one hyphen item cost unknown in the form. It is saying the reference field for the item cost is unknown in the form. Just see, it is referring which work area, item work area. What is your header work area, LS data. What is your item work area, LS data one. For LS data one item cost, it is saying reference field is unknown reference field is unknown we will understand why why this error is triggering suppose simple example i will go to your driver program see this is your header header you are fetching how many column data one two three four five from the item, you are fetching how many data? Three column data. Now for this item cost, it is saying it is not able to find a reference field. Reference field. You all know reference field means what? For amount, what is the reference field? You need to pass the currency. Amount always, always require a currency. It will be in which particular currency? Now, your header data and item data, you are passing to the smart form through the form interface. In the form interface, what is your internal tables? LT header and LT item. We'll check in the smart form. This is your smart form. I will keep it as it is. In another session, I will run the smart form so that we can understand why this error is triggering. I will go to display. Now this is our header. This is our item. We are getting the error for the item. We are not getting the error for the header. Now first question will come into everyone's mind. In the header also, in the header also, we have a amount field. In the item also, we have a amount field. If you see in the item also, we have a amount field. The first question which will come into everyone mind, why the reference field error is coming for item, why it is not coming for header. Firstly, we will analyze. Firstly, I will go to header. Just see, this is header structure. This is header structure. This is our structure for the header. This is our amount. This is our currency. Have you seen the currency? The reference field is in the same structure itself. If I will go to currency slash quantity fields tab, have you seen you are passing the reference field from the same structure itself, same structure itself. 
in this particular structure itself, we have a reference field and you are passing the reference from the same structure. The reference field in the same structure and we are referring to the same structure itself. That's why there is no problem at all. Now we will come on to item. Why, why the problem is triggering for item. If I will go to item, you can see in the item, if I will go to item structure, there is no reference field we have taken in this particular structure. We are passing the reference field from another structure, from already existing structure. That's why we are getting this error. It is extremely important to understand because this is extremely asked question in the interview. We have amount field in the header also. We have amount field in the item also. Why, why we got the error for header, not for the item. In case of header, whenever you are passing the data to the smartphone, your reference field is in the same structure itself. You are passing the reference to the, through the same structure. If I will pass here the reference of some another structure, I will get the error for this also. But in case of item, the reference field is not in the same structure. Reference field is not in the same structure. We are passing the reference from another structure. If I will show you in the debugging mode, just see. If I will put a breakpoint in the program, this is our program. If I will put a breakpoint, if I will run, I will go for order number one. Now I will go to desktop three. If I am executing the first query, have you seen in the first internal table, this is the amount, this is the currency reference field. Both are referring to the same structure in the same structure whenever we passed. Now, if I will go for item, suppose this is the item. If I will execute the query in this internal table, we do not have a currency. We are passing the reference field from already existing structure. If whenever this data will pass to the smartphone, if I will put the device, now, if I will show you LT underscore header here, if I will show you LT underscore item here, if I will go to LT header, this is our reference field, reference field, and it is passing through the same structure itself. So we are not getting any error for this. If I will come on to LT underscore item, here we are going for reference field from another structure. That's why we are getting this error. So whenever you are passing the values of amount and quantity field, it's a golden rule. Whenever you are passing the values of amount or quantity field from the program to the smartphone. If your reference field is in the same structure, you are referring through the same structure itself, no problem will come. If you are passing the reference of already existing structure, then the system will say it is unable to recognize the reference field. In the next video, we will know or we will come to know how we can resolve this particular problem. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we covered extremely important points. First thing, 
यू आर रनिंग द स्मार्ट फॉर्म थ्रू द प्रोग्राम बट यू आर अनेबल टू रिकोगनाइज वट द प्रॉब्लम इज In that case, what is the best possible solution to find out the error? Run the smart form independently with the data. I put the data, and I come to know that item data reference field is unknown. Then we recognized why why this problem is coming. In case of header, also we have a amount. but why for amount we have not why for header we have not got the error because in case of header the reference field which we are passing is in the same structure itself same structure so there is no problem whenever you are passing that data to the smart form suppose i put total amount 100 so reference field inr is in the same structure itself so there is no problem at all but if i will go for item if i will go to item in case of item your reference field is from the different structure itself if i am saying 100 item cost is 100 so where is inr yes system is unable to recognize this so in that's why we are getting the error that reference field is unknown for the item cost if for the header suppose for the header if i will pass the reference from already existing tables or structure i will get the error for header also but yes we want currency i took in the same structure that's why we have not got the error for this particular header in the next video we will see how we can resolve this particular problem and everyone will ask in the interview tell us a scenario in which you make use of the currency slash quantity tab in the smart form in the next video we will make use of this particular tab to resolve the error so that's it in this particular video thank you